Okay, next we're going to tie the quo pitch around an uncharged hose line. <clears throat> Again, my hose line's on the right side of the rope. My body's on the left side. My building would be out in front of us here. So, in order to tie this, you tie a quo pitch. I'm just keeping it simple. The easiest way I can do it is the method we were doing earlier. So, left hand, left palm up, left thumb pointing towards my building. I'm going to make the OK sign around the rope. I'm going to wrap three fingers, and I'm going to stand that up. I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap three fingers, stand that up. So now here's my quo pitch. I just need to adjust it to uh, make it bigger. So my loops are bigger. It'll fit around my nozzle head. I'm going to slide this down from the end of the hose where we have our fold. I'm going to get to the pistol grip. Need to pass that through there. And then over the bale. And I can take the slack out of this now. So there's our quo pitch around the hose and the nozzle. And now I need to tie an overhand safety knot, but I'm going to pass this underneath the hose so I keep my tension first. Now I'm just going to tie it how I have it always before. So around the rope and around my finger, and my finger points the way out. So my tail is going to come back towards the rope. And I'm going to adjust that overhand safety up to the bottom of my clove hitch. So that's tied in place. And I need to come back up about a foot from the end of the hose and I'm going to make my half hitch there. So again, left hand, left palm up. My left thumb's pointing towards the building. I make the OK sign. I wrap three fingers and there's my half hitch. Now I just slide this around the hose and I take the adjustments out of it as I slide it down. So there's my half hitch on my hose, my clove hitch around the nozzle in the hose with the overhand safety knot. It's ready to be hoisted now. Um, as long as it's tied properly, you use the rest of the hose as the tagline. No need for a tagline whatsoever.